Hello, and thank you for joining us for this presentation. In this presentation, we're going to be talking about co-authoring with Alfresco and Office 365, bringing true enterprise content management and collaboration together. Of course, the stars of our show, Alfresco One and Office 365. Now, you're probably saying, why should I watch this video? So here's a couple of questions to help you get to that answer. One, do multiple users need to edit a document at the same time? All right, so three people editing that document at the exact same time to get something done. Two, do the users need a robust enterprise scale document management system? Three, do the users need workflow or BPM to be a part of the overall solution? If you answered yes to these questions, well, it probably makes sense if you take a look at this video. So let's get started. Here we are in the details page for the Contractor for Acme document. And of course, logged in is Al Demo Solutionist, last name Solutionist, first name Al Demo. Now, what Al wants to do is to share the document with somebody else, do joint editing. So he'll click Shared Editing in OneDrive. Again, we're accessing your Office 365 account. So by clicking that, up pops the document. Now, Al is already logged into Office 365, so up pops Word Online and the document from Alfresco, and of course checked out of Alfresco. Al Demo on the left logged into the non-disclosure agreement. Now Al wants to edit this document with somebody else, so he clicks Share. From here he'll select that person, in this case it's Adam Storch. So Al wants to share the document with Adam, so he puts a little note in there, let's work on this document together, All right, and then he'll click Share. So what Al is doing is he's selecting Adam Storch to work on the document with him. Clicking Share will then send a notification, an email if you will, to Adam so they can work on the document together. Here is the email to Adam from Al, because again Al wants to work on the document with Adam, and there's a link to the document right there. Adam clicks on the document. Once he clicks on the document, it'll take him to his Office 365 login. There it is, a storage at microstrat.com. Adam will then turn around and log into Office 365 and therefore the document and this way Adam and Al can work on the document together. Now Adam wants to edit the document so we'll go to edit document and we'll say edit in Word Online and now the document is ready to be edited by Adam as well. Now you look on the left, remember the left is Al Okay, and a little pop-up there says Adam Storage is editing the document as well, because that way Al knows that Adam is with him and they can begin the editing process together. So on the Adam side, the right, Adam starts typing. Now when Adam is typing, it lets Al on the left know that Adam Storage is actually typing. So he could see what Adam is editing on the document. Okay, if we go to the Al side, Al can now add some text. Now when Al starts typing, you notice on the right hand side, it tells Adam that Al is typing. So you've got that joint collaboration, they can see each other as they type, they know what's working and what's being typed, so they're all set to go. Now once Adam is done, he simply clicks the X. He's done editing, he clicks the X, closes off his session, it now says Adam is no longer there, so Al knows that Adam has left. Al's all done, because he's figured he's finished what he needs to get done, he's gotten what he needs from Adam, he's all set. From here, Al can go off and just close the session, because he's got his in there. Now, back to the details page, here we are the details page for that document. We can either cancel it or check it in, obviously we want to check in from OneDrive, because they've worked on these pieces. We could say major version, I'll click OK. And then from here, the document is now saved back into the system, so what Adam and Al jointly edited has now been saved back into the repository. Now if I scroll down here, you'll notice that the audit trail of course has been updated saying that the document was just edited. And Now Al, as the key person, he's the one that did the initial checkout, it appears there. And of course as you recall, the editing that was done was this piece down here at the bottom. Okay, so as you can tell, right from here you're able to do a shared editing experience with your users using Office 365, capture the audit trail, capture the changes, and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and feel free to reach out to us to see how we can help you like we help our other clients.